In this video, I will be discussing several ways to rename groups, such as set lists, collections, and artists. The first way to rename a group is to select the Group tab. I will be using the Collections tab for this demonstration. Next, long press a group entry to select it, tap Rename on the action bar, or if it is not visible, you'll find it in the Overflow menu at the top right. A dialog will be shown allowing a new name to be entered. Tap OK to save the change, and the entry in the list will be updated to show the selected name. Similarly, you can also tap the group in the list to view its list of songs, and when in portrait orientation, tap the name displayed at the top left corner of the screen to display the rename dialog. In landscape orientation, the name will instead be displayed in a blue bar above the list of songs. Tapping the name listed in the blue bar will display the rename dialog. The remaining ways to rename a group can be found in the group editor. Tap a group on the library screen, then tap Edit to enter the group editor. Next, tap the title at the top left of the screen, and the rename dialog will be shown, allowing a new name to be entered. Similarly, if the Overflow menu at the top right of the screen is tapped, and Rename is selected from the drop-down, the same dialog will be shown. All of the options we have discussed require that the tab for a specific group type must be displayed on the library screen. In order to add additional tabs to the library screen, go to Settings, Library Settings, and tap Tab Selection and Order. This is covered in more detail in the tutorial video named Configuring Library Tabs. It is important to note that you cannot currently rename groups in the Song Editor. If a field is removed and a new name is entered, this will not rename the group that was removed. It will remove the song from the existing group and create a new group instead. This means that both groups will show up on the tab for that type of group. As can be seen in this demonstration, removing and adding a different name has resulted in a new entry being created instead of renaming the existing entry. One last thing that should be mentioned is that renaming a group to match the name of an existing group will cause Mobile Sheets to ask if the two groups should be merged. This can be used to combine songs from multiple groups into one. I will now demonstrate this by renaming a group with three songs in it to match the name of an existing group that also has three songs in it. After accepting the prompt and viewing the list of songs for the group, we can see that all six songs are listed. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.